Just imagine, I've got a, yeah, I've got a quick question for you. Yeah. You're on the wrong stand, actually, it's Callaway. Uh, uh, Callaway B21, Yeah. three wood, how would you describe it? How many words? You can have as many as you want. Well, not too many, don't waffle on. Very forgiving, yeah. easy to launch. Yeah. Off the ground, arguably the easiest fairway wood to hit. Off the tee, very good, but uh, super forgiving. That's all I need to hear, mate. Thank you. Pleasure. Right, so many of you will know that I've been a massive fan of the Callaway B21 driver. And the issue I had when I first tried it was, first of all, how it looks, not overly keen. But the big problem I had was the offset. And it almost felt like I was pointing down that left-hand side. But for whatever reason, it, sort of, it worked. And uh, the offset wasn't a major hassle. And it's probably the... Uh, the best performing driver I've used personally in terms of straightening out my game. So when the three wood came about, and this has been released now for six or seven months, I never actually got to try it, but I have this morning, and I sort of without giving any clues away, what Jimmy has just explained is the most forgiving three wood, the kind of how easy it is to hit. That's certainly what I have found, but there is one major difference between this and the driver, and a main reason why I would never put it in the bag. The starting point yet again is looks with the B21 because I think that's the first thing you've got to overcome and like with the driver with that elongated almost triangular type head shape again the three wood is quite different to what we'd normally look at. I don't know the size in terms of CC but it's certainly a bigger head than we'd normally expect to see. It's very much flattened almost again it's got that very shallow profile but it's definitely that kind of more um, the overall profile is quite big and for some that will be good for others it won't and then there's one major difference and that's the dress is uh, offset and that is quite significant it's very noticeable on the eye and it's where I think it caused a significant problem but I did think it was going to cause me a significant problem with the driver and for whatever reason it didn't so the question is when I start hitting this is that offset again going to become a major issue or are we just going to find exactly what Jimmy says where basically this is one of the easiest three woods there is to get that ball up and out there and it certainly launches extremely high right so before i hit a golf ball what i want to see is uh, a few comments from yourselves and i want to know who's tried the b21 because like i said it's been out for quite some time and i think the bigger question is what are you looking for from a three wood and how many of you still gain one i know that i've done a lot of videos in recent weeks about how good sort of five woods are they've probably become a little bit stronger lofted than they used to be almost like what irons have done so i'm kind of seeing them from a personal level I've dropped the three wood out of the bag, but how many of you still game a three wood and then what is it you want to do with it? Is it a case of you looking for this club to help you out off the tee or is it a case of still very much a fairway type of club? Because um, like I said, I don't think a three wood is as versatile as perhaps what a kind of five wood is. Uh, but anyway, what I will say, I'm going to try this in sort of a uh, couple of different ways. I'm going to hit one off the tee peg, and hit one off the deck I'm going to see what kind of, if we've got any options in terms of how I can possibly hit this uh, club. Or is it just that closed face really eradicates a sort of left to right. But what I'm going to do first of all is uh, my sort of full tilt swing if I was playing from a tee and see what we can do. Wow, the launch on the ball is incredible. I mean, we've got it on a slightly high tee peg. It's gone for miles, to be quite honest with you, but the biggest notable thing is probably that's the highest launching three wood I have ever hit. Um, it's gone into orbit, and yeah, straight down the middle as well with a nice bit of shape. The thing that baffles me, we'll leave that one on the deck. The thing that baffles me about these three woods is that, or this sort of certainly draw biased um, sort of fairway wood, and the same with the driver. The whole point is that it's to sort of eradicate that fade and what I worry about is sort of that one that just hit I hit it sort of straight left because I almost feel like I've got to leave the club face just that open a little bit because it's so short and closed at address but you've seen that well, it was a little bit of a soft draw but I have got the tendency with this three wood just to turn it over a little bit so I've got to make sure that I'm sort of keeping it open throughout impact which is clearly you know that's a challenge and not something you want to be doing every time I'm going to take one off the deck and uh if off the deck again, I'd be looking sort of a bit more of a cut um, is the way I play these shots. Right, sorry to butt in mid-review, but there's an important message which I keep forgetting to relay to our viewers, and that's that um, the average golfer's club has been a huge success. 
it's a members thing that we got together in recent weeks and i won't go into detail about what that is all about but it's uh the averagegolfer.co.uk is the website you'll find out details there but the main bit i wanted to mention is that plenty of golfers are taking advantage of the fact that these products i review for golf are giving 10 percent off of them all there's no ifs and buts there's no restrictions there's no conditions it's that simple so if you are thinking about buying any of these clubs that you see in these videos then go and have a look at what it means to be a member of the average golfers club honest it's a no-brainer right back to the review that's such a powerful club though you know i'm well impressed with the the b21 in terms of the driver I love the big Bertha irons, they're getting so easy to use and I think this falls into that category. You've seen from that ball there, we've still ended up in the rough in what is a tight par 4 we've picked. It just leaked out a little bit but you'll also see kind of how high it launches as well. And the last shot I'm going to try is the one off the deck but sort of giving, um, give it a bit of meat if you like, all in, in case, and again just that worry that can I hold it open enough that I'm not turning one over into that water. That's again a slightly lower ball fight caught that off the bottom but it seems to have seems to be going out there and it's again pretty much in the middle of the fairway so the two shots that i actually went after a little bit turned out better than the one i was trying to uh, sort of place down a fairway with a bit of a high cut but the thing for me is this with this driver it, uh fairway wood going back to what jimmy said incredibly easy to launch i think again the question i asked you what is it you're looking for from this type of club I'd almost say that in the distance wise from what I got, it's a couple of decent ones with the camera on there, but from the overall data, which I'll put up in front of you now, what you'll see is that I was a kind of 210, 215, yet I got older a few as well. It was almost a club that you could use in two ways. You either used it to find a fairway, which for me, like I said, is that sort of uh, high cut ball, which I'm losing a bit of distance, but I've got sort of 215 around that sort of mark. And then you'll see the longer balls, when I put this dispersion in front of you now, the longer balls come from me or more draw shaped shot that are really sort of give it full tilt. Uh, club head speed is up just a little bit, but you'll see the ball speeds and the overall carry change significantly. So it's a versatile club. You can play it in different ways, even with that sort of shut face, you can still open it up to hit a fade. It's still doable. But I think for me, it's the kind of, um, it's, we go back to, I think Jimmy gave the best explanation. This is an easy to use three wood. I'd not tried it up until this morning. And as I've said with the, uh, fair, with the driver and with the irons that they did in this range, it's an incredibly good performing club in terms of ease of use and will suit a lot of golfers. If you can overcome that one thing that I think is the massive problem with both clubs and it's the category that's in, it's designed that way. It's just that offset address is really visible. And on this, on the three wood, perhaps more noticeable than the driver. And it's one thing that would probably mean that I wouldn't use it because I do feel like I say, I've got to make, uh, I've got to adapt my setup to accommodate from that offset. And probably that's not the best way you want to address a ball. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was a bit of a, I didn't know whether to do the video because like I said, it was it, the, the product has been out quite a few months. Uh, I think it was mid part of last year almost, maybe 12 months old is now, but I still think if you can pick one up, they're still retailing at uh, full price, still in production from Callaway and part of this year's model. So uh, it's probably still relevant. Anyway, that's me done. As ever, hit that like button, comments down below, and I'll see you all very soon.